Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching. This is me Mr. P and welcome back to another episode of the Proxmox Home Server Series. In this video I will show you what you need to do to replace a drive inside your Ceph pool inside Proxmox cluster. So let's begin. Each node has additional drive attached to it and that drive is used inside Ceph pool. Ceph pool contains of three drives OSD 0, 1 and 2 and if I click on a Ceph inside any of the nodes I can see that self pool is healthy, everything is great, all the managers and monitors have been uh, detected, everything is working. And I have one LXC container running on a node 1, which constantly pinging Cloudflare tunnel, Cloudflare DNS server. So what to do if one of the drive fails? If I click on the self and then choose uh, OSDs, let's say my node 1 OSD drive started to misbehave. A couple of days ago, this happened to my main Proxmos cluster, where one of the 2 terabyte SSD drives started to show very huge numbers of apply and commit latency. Other two drives were showing between 5 to 7 milliseconds, where the drive that I had to replace was showing 500 milliseconds. That was indication that the drive struggles to apply and commit, read and write, so I had to replace the drive. So we're going to do the same thing in here. We will replace node 1 OSD drive. So first thing what you need to do to make sure to start replacing this drive is to instruct the Ceph to migrate the data out of this drive. I have one LXC container running and if I click on the resources I can see my the LXC containers root disk is located in Ceph and it's 8 gigabytes in size. That means that this drive is being spread across three of these OSD drives. I need to instruct the Ceph to migrate all the data from this drive into other two. To do that, I will select the drive that I want to remove and click out. That will instruct the Ceph to migrate the data off this drive. If I go on right now on the list and choose Ceph, as you can see, it's happening right now. All this, it will depend how long it's going to take. It depends how much data you have inside the drive. This is completed as it's only 8 gigabytes in size. Actually, it's only 1.3 gigabytes or so in size being used. So this is, this is stopped and the data has been migrated off OSD 0, which belongs to node 1, into other two. Again, this will depend how fast it's going to happen. It will depend how much data you have inside your Ceph pool. So once I can see that everything that's it, data is being migrated and Ceph pool is still showing this is healthy, even if I instructed the data to be migrated out of the, out of the one node or out of one OSD drive, I'll click back into OSD list, select the drive and press stop. That's basically disconnecting this drive from this Ceph pool. Now if I click on a Ceph, I will get information or message warning that a degraded data redundancy and it's basically one third of the pool is not working properly. And as you can see, all is in yellow and it's giving me a list that is two and one is out and down. And basically Ceph right now is telling me that Ceph pool is degraded. I need to replace this drive as soon as possible. I'll go back inside OSD lists. I will select this drive and under more options, I will choose destroy. What that does is not only uh, stops and deletes the data of the drive, but it completely removes the drive of a Ceph pool. You need to do that. Otherwise you always end up or you will basically get stuck with the drive that is showing on the list, but it doesn't exist. So more destroy, make sure the tick is here and click remove. Right now Ceph is basically destroying this drive, making sure that it's definitely out. As you can see, PVE3 and PVE2 contains OSDs, PVE1 has no drive attached. If I click back on a Ceph, right now Ceph is complaining more that OSD count is 2, where my default size is supposed to be 3. So I need to replace this drive. First thing, I need to shut down this node. I will select on this LXC container, right click and migrate that to PVE2, migrate. As this is LXC container, Proxmox HA first have to shut it down, migrate and start. As And because this very small VM drive or LXC drive, it's just start, it's happened all this in just a couple of seconds. If I click on a console, I need to log in as this restarted and continue pinging my Cloudflare DNS server. So right now PVE1 is ready to be shut down. Same is going to be on yours, even if I have these all virtualized. You just shut down the VM, shut, shut down the node and replace the drive. So select the node 1, shell, 
and I type shutdown now and press enter. And right now I need to wait for node to be completely off and replace the drive. Because node 1 is out, I need to access my Proxmos cluster via node 2. So I'm going to go via node 2 and log into Proxmos cluster. Let's enter the password, a username and a password. Let's make it a bit bigger, like that. So that's it. So I have PV3 and 2 is active, PV1 is offline. So right now, drive is being replaced and I will start the node. So node is starting. So any second, this red um, icon should change into a green icon. So let's wait for a second or so for this to happen. And here we are, I have my node 1 back up and running. If I expand that and click on node 1, scroll down to the disks, and I can see that disk is being attached. If I go and click on a Ceph, Ceph is still complaining that this is not working properly, and it's even telling me that the node PV2 and 3 clock skew, skew detected. That means that one of the nodes just went offline, so that you need to wait a couple of seconds for all of them to go green, as you can see, while I was talking, they all basically got synced. So that's it. Nodes can see each other. They're all in sync, but OSDs are still down by one. So I need to add this new drive. If I click on node one, Ceph, expand this option, click on OSDs, and then you need to click create OSD. It automatically detects the free drive, and I'm just going to click create. So what, what's happening now is Ceph takes the fresh drives, fresh drive, and just getting all this set up and done and includes into a Ceph pool. Just give a second or so and it should show up. If it doesn't, just click the reload button. And here we are. OSD0 is showing up here on the list. And right now it says in but it's down because Ceph is preparing to start this drive. It's not more like a turning the power into the drive. It's just preparing the drive for all the configuration files to properly include that into a Ceph pool. So after a couple of seconds or so, just click reload again. And here we are. We back up and running. So I have my OSD. So the drive is in. As you can see, the latency and commit is 59 when others are 5 and 5. This is fine because this is a new drive, so it's getting all the data written. So it's a lot of data is getting pushed to this drive right now from other two. So this number will be a bit higher than other two. If I reload, as you can see, right now basically this has no latency at all, and these two exactly the same. And right now if I click on a Ceph, I can see my Ceph pool is healthy. Everything is working fine. And if I open the node 2 and click on the Lexi container console, that is still pinging the Cloudflare. Now I can go back and migrate this LXC container into node 1 if that's where it's supposed to be, or I can keep that on node 2. I'm just gonna migrate to node 1, select PVE1 and migrate. So Proxmox HA shutting down LXC container and starting migration. Migration finished and Proxmox should start LXC container any second. And let's re-click on the console, enter, and then root, give it a password, and this LXE container can continue functioning as it was before. And that's it. Right now my Ceph pool is green, all green, all happy, all healthy, and OSDs have been restored, or OSD drive, sorry, it's been replaced with a fresh new one. And that's it. They're all showing somewhere around the same latency. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would be very happy if you consider subscribing or clicking like button. Let me know what you think about this content, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.